November's figures show that France's unemployment rolls expanded for the 19th consecutive month, officially hitting 10.7 percent. President Hollande has promised to create 100,000 new jobs a year, but the Eurozone's second largest economy continues to teeter on the edge of recession. In 2013, I will make a huge battle for more jobs for all sectors of society. The whole nation needs to realize that we all must mobilize against unemployment. France's official jobless rate is based solely on the slightly more than 3 million people registered in the nation's unemployment program. But that leaves out a number of groups, like those who have quit the program because their benefits are exhausted, or young workers who never even registered for assistance. And it also includes those stuck in part-time jobs who can't find more paying work. Recent reports from French daily Le Parisien claims that if all these groups are included, France's real unemployment rate triples to 9 million workers. That would be in line with the estimated real unemployment rates of other Western countries, such as 23% for the United States and 16% for the United Kingdom. When you add in the budget cuts of Hollande's government and its embrace of austerity, the situation for France's workers has become even worse. We are in a real danger of returning to the Great Depression of the 1930s because we are following the same foolish policies they did. France's National Statistics Institute does not expect the situation to improve in the short term as they expect 75,000 more job cuts in the first half of 2013. Will France choose to make their labor market more flexible with short-term contracts, pay cuts and part-time work, or will they subsidize job creation and stop slashing worker benefits? Their choice will be determined at a key labor summit next month. Ramin Mazahari, Press TV, Paris.